yes, Senior X30 is up next. And uh, what we got in store for you here? Well, 27 drivers set to do battle in first that we saw the Senior X30s in their rep charge earlier on. And uh, this, of course, the longer race, 15 minutes plus a lap. We've got Ayami Cadet after Senior X30. We round off the day with Junior X30. Very exciting senior X30 pre-final. Aaron Walker is the driver that everybody is trying to have to beat. Strawberry Racing. But then you've got on the, on the outside of row one for this one, you've got the Mick Barrett Racing uh, number 77 of Bart Harrison. I have to say that the Mick Barrett Racing liveries, uh, Bart Harrison has got a special Mick Barrett Racing livery. He's incorporating his sponsors into that. So that'll be interesting to see. And also we get a chance to look at this very interesting sort of proposition for number 95, Oscar Joyce for premium karting, where the NASA panel on the cart is a self-designed drawing that he's going to be selling as an NFT. Um, don't get me started. Don't, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying that we might maybe now have time to sort of play. There we go, boy. Don't have time. There goes uh, the cart and on the grid. Now we're going to start. We're going to see who's starting where. Here is your starting grid in Senior X30. Pole position: 15 Aaron Walker and the number 77 cart of Bart Harrison. Uh, alongside him with Gus Lawrence and Harry Platter, the GP Pro winner on row number two. Thomas Fleming and Oscar Joyce on row three. Sam Heading and Alistair Cresswell round out row number four. Row number five, Harry Cotter and Oliver Greetham, Jude Fernihow and Alpha ba Alfie Bax Davis are on row number six. Alex Moody, Brandon Templeton on row seven, Brad Pennell and Nat Thomas rounding out row eight. Row nine, Gary Edwards and Connor Clifford. Row ten, Marcus Littlewood and Louis Johnson Cool. Row 11, Archie Tillett, Marcus Luzio, Ewan Wilson and Sam Shaw on row 12. Row number 13 is Carly Atkins and Harvey Rivey and James Pashley starts shotgun of the field. Double X TKM Extreme Champion starting 27th in this one. Watch other drivers out of position. Harvey Rivey in the number 71, the MDL racing driver. Sam Shaw, the number 16 premium karting driver. He starts out of position, as does Marcus Luzio in the Dan Holland racing number 12. And a bit further back as well, Bradley Pennell in the number 22 PF International karting team. So you've got a host of contenders at the front and a host of contenders that are going to be trying to fight their way through the pack, but nobody has been able to beat the number 15 kart of Aaron Walker this weekend. There is the uh, Big Barrett Racing number 77 of uh, Bart Harrison there, the gold and blue livery cart of Bart Harrison. So this is Bart's first season as a senior. He's got the O plate, he's got the GP plate right behind him. Uh, Harry Platten, the BMR restart driver, the PF International driver, Gus Lawrence. And I'm looking down, I think we've got all 27 drivers uh, on the grid. Here we go, lights are out. We're off and racing in Senior X30 into turn number one and Aaron Walker oh, oh and up over the back there this one of the S8 racing cars I think that was the number 42 of Harry Cottrell, uh, Harry Cottrell there doing a 360 and he see who he bounced over the back of I think all the drivers have managed to get away uh, hopefully with no damage there's Cottrell at the back but Aaron Walker still leads with uh, that looks like it's the Dan Holland race number three of Thomas Fleming who's made a good start up into P2. Yep that was an exciting start then for Senior X30 certainly gave us a run for the <laughs> run for the money yeah, at yeah. the beginning of that one but uh, yeah clean breakaway then for the top three let's look at the virtual championship of course doesn't mean much at the beginning of the season but it just shows it, who is where at point, the start of it yeah points, points is mean, points points mean prizes yes, Aaron Walker at the moment is uh, perfect score at the minute and oh there's a bit of muscle now we saw Bradley Pennell getting very aggressive earlier on he had a penalty post uh, pre-final which is why he's starting a bit further back uh, than he uh, finished and he's showing that he's, and he's in, in, in wasting no time in trying to get back up towards the front. But the good news is that all 27 drivers, Alistair Cresswell uh, had a problem there in the number 33 car. I think he might have been the driver that uh, um, uh, Harry Cottrell uh, sort of or like bounced over the top of. So it's a tough uh, baptism of fire for Alistair Cresswell as Thomas Fleming takes the lead and Gus Lawrence goes with him into P2. Yeah, good stuff from those two. Now they're going to try and work together, break away with... Uh, Aaron Walker as well as they go through and uh, again just behind is that Platten yes it is indeed the GP bait Harry Platten looking like he wants to stick with them as well as they uh, disappear off into the distance oh that looked like one cart going very wide there out of the uh, cafe corner there 
Mm -hmm. yep. They'll go so through. The leaders are all uh, safely into Bruno's, yep. led by Lawrence. Fleming, Walker, Platten, Harrison, Pennell already up from uh, 15th to 6th. But uh, his teammate, the PF International Karting Open, of Gus Lawrence, leading the way. Aaron Walker right on his rear bumper. Now, will Walker be content to sit in second place? Fleming having to defend third from Harry Platten as things stand. Aaron Walker, fast lap of the race, 42.04. Well, actually, Alfie back to Davis says the fast lap of the race for Jack Dex Racing of 41.97. Still all 27 starters running, and Aaron Walker does make the move and move back into first place down at Stratford Corner. Fleming and Platten right there, and a small gap to Pennell. Here's Pennell, who now leads Harrison. Sam Heading is in seventh in the number seven uh, BMR uh, restart entry, followed by Oscar Joyce in the number 95 premium karting. Oh, a technical flag for Aaron Cresswell uh, oh. out of uh, the race. This is the first retirement. Uh, James Plastry runs 25th, uh, then it's uh, Brandon Templeton in 25th, Bax Davis 24th, and Ewan Wilson 22nd, Greetham, Clifford, just outside the top 20, Carly Atkins has moved into the top 20, uh, Harvey Riley's up to the 17th position, Archie Tillett is up to 15th, uh, Sam Shaw up to 14th place, Marcus Luzio up to 13th, so a lot of the drivers that started down at the back after being involved in that accident at the start of the pre-final, all having mechanical problems in the pre-final, are moving up. But as the race progresses, there's the gaps between drivers. There's Luzio in the number 12 car, for example. He's got the number 88 uh, Cato Motorsport car of Alex Moody directly in front of him. The gaps are beginning to get a little bit bigger between each target. Uh, and if Aaron Walker continues to lead, you have the sneaking suspicion, Anthony, that he may, may, may just pull away. Mm, yeah, it could happen. But Harrison sets the fastest lap of the race, though. 41.770. Keep an eye on Brad Pennell. He's up 10 places, currently sitting in fifth place in that number 22. You can just see him at the back of this train here that we're yep. just going around the Bruno chicane. Uh, you know, coming up 10 places, you know, so quickly on. You know, yep. we're only five laps, or well, technically we're on lap six. But, you know, as it goes through, that's a good good run for the yep. time being. Uh, Harry Platten just passed Gus Lawrence for second place early this lap. The BMR yep. uh, restart driver. Platten is getting his head down. Um, Fleming in the number three car going with him and uh, he's, they've really got to work hard because Walker looking exceptionally strong. And of course last year Strawberry Racing finished second in this class with uh, Thomas Turner. So Walker has taken over Turner's position in the team as the uh, the head honcho uh, in X Senior X34, the strawberry outfit. And so we know that package is strong. Platten and Fleming have got to try and keep it bay. Very impressive from Bart Harrison, also has to be said, on his senior debut. There's the move from Harry Platten, though, and the GP plate winner takes top spot. Fleming tries to go with him, but has to settle, settle for third place at the moment on the Lando Norris Dan Holland racing cart. Yeah, further back, there's the field going through your screen. Oh, James Pashley has also retired. So the two TKM grad, uh, sort of graduates or the two TM, TKM uh, transfers across are both out of this final early. Cresswell and Pashley, fortunately for them. Now, the leaders watch. You're, you're, point, you're pointing, Anthony. You're pointing. I'm pointing at the 22's yes, front ah. nose cone. Oh, is it? Is it? Has it? Has it got a bit of a, it's a, a wobble? On it's it? got a wobble, and it's hitting the track. Ah, well, oh, no, 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 that doesn't. That doesn't bother. As there's a move, and oh, Fleming at the inside of Aaron Walker. That's how you do it. So Thomas Fleming takes the lead from Aaron Walker, and uh, ah, so if uh, well. Bradley Pennell may be aware that he can hear the scraping and scratching of that nose cone, so he knows, right, OK. Well, there, there it is, yes. It's uh, wobbling away, um, doesn't bode well, um, unless, of course, he wins by six seconds. Can't see unless, it happening. Yeah, unless he... Yeah, 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 yeah. That could happen. It's happened before. It has happened before. I'm not quite sure in this bridge it's going to happen. <laughs> Especially the way things are panning out. Eight and three-quarter minutes to go. This is lap number... We're completing lap number nine now, and it's Fleming, Platten and Walker, then uh, the wibbly-wobbly nose cone of Bradley Pennell, followed by Mark Harrison, Gus Lawrence, Sam Heading, Marcus Littlewood in the number 11 Jade Racing entry up into eighth place. Joyce is ninth. Oh, and uh, changed the lead again down at Stratford, Anthony. Yeah, indeed, yeah. 
That looked Is like that Harry Platten going yes. through. Harry Platten going Harry Flatters. Yes, he was indeed. Yeah, gets that move done nicely at the hairpin. Comes out. There we go. You can see it. <laughs> you could just see um, Aaron Walker just behind you saying, yeah, come on, come on, come on. You go now, okay, I'll follow. Yeah, yeah. it'll be absolutely fine. Well, follow for how long? Well, yeah, that's the question, because... Uh, we'll yeah. see. There's Walker looks over his shoulder. I'm not sure how, how much of a good glance he got at the nearest rivals looking that way, but, I mean, he's got three or four cart legs in hand over Fleming. Now, does that mean that uh, Aaron Walker might be thinking, okay, we might be able to do something here. I'll push away, so it's just me and you, Harry. Mano or oh, Mano? Fleming, Pennell... And the rest still give chase. There's Harrison just jumping over the curbs going into the Brutal Ocean Cane. And uh, yeah, there's uh, now Harry looking over his shoulder just to see who's what and where. But Fleming closing back in in third place. Yeah, the number indeed. three in P3 closing in. Yes, indeed. Yeah, closing that battle or closing that gap up right away. Seven minutes to go then. Oh, and who was that going defensive there? Was uh, that it was Gus, Gus Lawrence? It was Gus Lawrence yeah. being very, very defensive indeed. And uh, yeah, hugging the inside line there, obviously just not, not, not it, was, it wasn't being completely, it was a, a defensive manoeuvre to stop. And he's yeah, defending again, he's getting shuffled a little bit wide there. And I think that was Sam Headings and Marcus Littlewood uh, deciding they had enough of following Gus Lawrence. And they were both coming through, so Gus falling back, the Brittany O-Plate uh, champion. But uh, now can he regain those lost positions? Because, well, the leaders, those five carts... Coming out of Wilkins now, are beginning to stretch away ever so slightly. Ever so slightly. And down the inside there for Ooh. the race lead, Aaron Walker. Whoa, that was as close as you'd like to get it. Yeah. Gets the move done, though, as they come out of the cafe curve. There you go. You can just see now down in towards the hairpin. No oh. move from Platten there. Not a lot that uh, Platten could do about that. No. That's There's allowed a... the two behind to close in as well. So it now has five. indeed. And you look at the J-cut, so the, that, that red and white Birrell ART of uh, Jade Racing's Marcus Littlewood is the next cart in line after top two. He's doing really, really well. And he's got Sam Heading, uh, Harry Platten's teammate uh, for company. They're not out of this one yet either. Yeah, but, but it's... Still Aaron Walker's race to lose, even though uh, Platten, Fleming, Pennell, Harrison are right there. Because, again, like we saw Chris Whitten do in T-Game Extreme, every time somebody overtakes him, Aaron Walker seems to just have that, the ease to just seamlessly move back into the top spot as and when. Bruno Chicane now on lap 14. Five minutes to go. And everyone looking calm for this time of for the uh, race. You know, they're just they're in the lull moment. Yes, they've yep, got they're, they're happy with their positions. Yes, they are indeed. They are thinking, and talking in their head, and yeah. a question about GP plates. That's the British Grand Prix. That's yeah. the Cart Masters British Grand Prix held the first weekend of August every year at PF International. The winner of that class wins the GP plate for in their class for the next 12 months. So Harry Pratt Platten is the British Cart Masters Grand Prix winner. In Senior X30. In Senior X30, yes, yes. We have a, a GP, there's a GP plate in every class. Yes. And uh, I want to say, though, that uh, now behind, there's Harvey Ryby. So Harvey Ryby in eighth place, the number 71, the MDL, Mark Dave Litchfield uh, racing cart. Ryby is started right at the back. He was involved in that, uh, that pre-final incident uh, that really ruined his race. He's gained nearly 20 places up into, 18, up into, up into eighth spot. And Marcus Luzio is also having a really good run. He's up in the ninth. Gus Lawrence now beginning to fade back to 10th. Louis Johnson Cool runs 11th. Jude Fernihau is 12th, followed by Carly Atkins, Archie Tillett, and Oscar Joyce. Uh, that's your top 15. Connor Clifford, Sam Shaw, 16th and 17th. It's not going to be a happy birthday for Rob Shaw, uh, with Sam uh, toiling back in 17th place. Then it's Oliver Greetham, Ewan Wilson, Alex Moody, a top 20. Nat Thomas, Alfie Baxter Davis, uh, Brandon Templeton, and Harry Cottrell. Are your last runners? Gary Edwards has retired the number 87 Strawberry Racing Cart, and Jane Pashley and Alistair Cresswell also out of the running. And we have a breakaway. We do indeed. Yep, as down the inside goes Brad Pennell for third place. Uh, yeah, your top two Aaron Walker, Harry Platten, they've opened up, well, 
you say they've opened up a gap. It's 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 less than well, half a second. Yeah, less than half a second, but it's a gap. It's it a is. gap, and Fleming getting Bradley Pinnell out of the way. So it'll be more of a gap now because yep. yeah, if they keep battling like that for third place, yeah, the top two will just break away more. And there goes uh, Bart Harrison on Brad Pinnell. And Brad Pinnell tumbling now. Now getting around the out, passing, going proper M and M style move there, around the outside, around the outside oh, by yeah. uh, Marcus Littlewood as well to push. Little, well, to push Pinnell down to sixth position and move Littlewood into the top five. Which would be his uh, best result in the British Championship if things stay as they are in the final three minutes of this one. Out of Cafe Corner we go. And Harvey Ryby has attached himself to the back of this train. And uh, don't count young Harvey out for a potential podium in this one. He's a uh, mirror signal manoeuvre, passes another one. That is Sam Heading in the number seven cart that uh, gets put to the sword. Now Ryby goes past the number 22 of Brad Pennell, moving him into sixth position. Still Walker leads. Harry Platten does look. Now Harry Platten has finished on the podium actually multiple, multiple oh, times. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Do you know the one thing he hasn't done yet? Won a final? Correct. There you go. He's got two minutes, 10 seconds to change that statistic. Oh, direction change. Yeah, look at that. Down the inside. He was listening to he me. He was. He was listening. How he was listening. He was. He's, he, got, he's got the stream on in his ears. He pulled his hair back and listened. Yeah. There we go. The quiff came back. Ears opened. He thought, yes, Henry, you are right. Followed my instructions to the letter. One minute 44 to go. Yeah, Thomas went to the outside there, took the wider entry to get the faster exit out of the corner. Platten sees it, goes defensive. Walker follows suit so close between these top three. Who's that now in third place? That is Marcus well, Littlewood. It's Littlewood up in the fourth place, yes. The, 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 the Beryl Art, the Jade Racing entry, and Harry Platten now begins to bend 90 seconds to go. Well, what else are you going to do? You've got to hook the inside lines now with less than two minutes to go. Uh, Bart Harrison is in fifth position. And then it's Harvey Ryby and Brad Pennell side by side for sixth. Who comes out of the Bruno Chicane in front out of those two? I think it might have been Ryby. It might have been right as well. One minute to go. Breathe, Anthony, uh, breathe. Know, uh, well, yes. No, okay. My hay fever is killing me. Don't make oh, okay. oh, me breathe that's too the much. One, that's the one thing you can't do at the moment <laughs> no. is breathe. So, <laughs> yes, and uh, so uh, Platten, Platten has the lead at the moment. Out of Cafe Corner, through Pitts Bend. Out on Stratford Straight. Platten's going to defend the inside line. Here comes Marcus Littlewood. Now trying the end of cut. Marcus Littlewood for a place on the podium. And it's uh, Harrison in fifth. And then it's Ryby is in sixth. But he's got a little bit of work to do. It's a, now a four-cart battle, five-cart battle for the lead. It's Platten, Walker, Fleming, Littlewood and Harrison. Who is going to take it? 20 seconds left on the timer. And look at them now. Absolutely line astern, all of them for the top, what's that, six, seven positions as Platten gets yeah, yeah, a warning yeah. flag. Uh, but here we go then, round turn one. Ten seconds to go. Yeah. Plus a lap. Next time by, last lap board. Ryby's not out of this one yet. He's then it's not. Pennell and Sam Heading in eighth place, the BMR cart. Uh, the second of the BMR cart. So a BMR cart at the head of the train and a BMR cart at the back of the lead train. Any one of eight can still do it. As the clock strikes zero, Harry Platten eyeing a first British Championship win after many years of trying. On to Hangar Straight we go. Walker has won everything to this point. Is he going to fall short where it matters most? And Fleming, the three plate, the highest returning seeded driver from last year. He wants to try and get his championship challenge off with a win. Last lap board goes out. It is the BMR restart GP plate of Harry Platten. With the race lead, what can Aaron Walker do? Out of Cafe Corner. Now, this is going to be critical. Into Stratford, they all defend. Can Walker get the run up Hanger Street? The answer is no. Harvey Ryby trying to pass, but Harrison, he can't make it. Marcus Littlewood trying to get a podium position. His maiden British Championship podium. But he's got to pass the number three seed, Thomas Fleming, to do it. Here comes Platten into Wilkins the final time. Walker cannot, cannot get the inside. He's going to have a slipstream, though. Aaron Walker's not out of this one yet. Can he get the slipstream? Oh, by half a cart length, Harry Platten finally does it. A British Championship victory for Platten by nine hundredths of a second from Aaron Walker. 
Thomas Fleming holds on to third, a career best for Marcus Littlewood in fourth. A fantastic drive from 26 to fifth for Harvey Rivey. Bradley Pennell comes home in sixth. Bart Harrison on his senior debut takes seventh. Then it's Sam Heading in eighth. The top eight finishers separated by 1.2 seconds at the end of 23 pulsating laps of racing. And in ninth place, Louis Johnson Cool. I think that's going to be his best result. Marcus Lutzio rounds the top 10. Jude Fernihau, 11th for Jack Dex Racing. And Archie Tillett in 12th. Gus Lawrence fades back to 13th. Connor Clifford is 14th. Oscar Joyce, 15th. Ahead of Sam Shaw, Oliver Greetham, Alfie Baxter Davis, Ewan Wilson, Brandon Templeton, Harry Cottrell, Alex Moody. And the last finisher was Nat Thomas. Sadly, Carly Atkins retired. There is the hair. Harry the hair has his first British victory. And someone asking, is it the top 10 in the championship to get seeded plates? Yes, it is. Has the junior final been on yet? No, it hasn't. We've got Iami Cadet and then Junior X30 still coming up. And uh, yeah, a couple of people supporting me is uh, Tom Fleming on the DHR T-shirt. And here comes Harry Platten now. I mean, he's, uh, oof. There's going to be a, a bit of relief as much as anything because he has uh, had multiple, multiple podium finishers, finished fifth in the championship last year. He's running the GP plate because he's the, the, the British Grand Prix champion. There's Aaron Walker. Well, Aaron, you know, you're leading the championship, but he's going to be disappointed he couldn't uh, get the win in that one. There's uh, Thomas Fleming, a solid third place to start his title challenge. And then behind him, a very happy Marcus Littlewood number 11 car that's his best finish of course the jade racing team the feral art chassis combination they guided danny curl to the, this the championship in this class in 2019 and 2020. So very very good racing there in senior x30 we've got two races to go as uh now we'll uh, have a look at the scenery here at Channington there. It's been a fantastic day here at Banbury in Oxfordshire here. Anthony Jordan, who is suffering terribly with hay fever today. You must be thinking, God, Henry, shut up and let Anthony have a talk. Well, the, the problem that we've got with that is that Anthony can't really talk that much. He's battling on manfully. But, uh, yes, the, the only bad thing about spring being in the air is if you, you suffer from hay fever and you're stuck in the middle of a field, which is what we are, <laughs> then, uh, yes, so uh, Anthony is, is struggling with the hay fever. Um, which is why that uh, he's a little bit quieter than usual in the finals, but uh, he's, he's here, and so it's it's not me hogging the microphone. It's uh, <laughs> I haven't got a choice. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. But Anthony now gets his chance to talk because he's about to speak to the best here in the paddock, Harry Platten. Thank you very much, Henry. Yes, I'm here with our race winner in that one, Harry Platten. That was uh, well, a touch and go for the most of it on that one, but talk us through the GP plate running you well here and uh, a first victory for you in the finals in the British. Yeah, obviously it's been a long time coming, um, taken a while and to be honest we weren't really fast enough all weekend but the final all I wanted to do was sort of get away the front two and just sort of battle the last three laps and that's exactly what we've done. Yeah, I mean a great result for you. Uh Cart looking amazing, you know, uh, an amazing job out there. It looked like hard work all the way through that one, really having to work for it. But you're, you're not out of breath, you know, you've, you've been working out, you, you, you're feeling good? Yeah, yeah, feeling fine. It's, it's just, it's one of those tracks that you can't pull away around, especially with how windy it is. The toe is massive, but obviously I just want to say a big thanks to everyone, uh, family, friends, everyone for support and obviously the team as well. Yeah, Great job. Spot on. Well done, Harry. Well done on first place. Now, you may be noticing that uh, Tom Fleming's car is in second place. Aaron Walker did receive a nose cone penalty. So, Mr. Oh, what a day. Come here. Oh, what a day. Yeah, second place. Good result. You happy with that? 
What a day, honestly. Um, <laughs> no, it's been um, it's been a tricky weekend to be fair to us. Like we've been very quick. Obviously, polled it. Um, good couple of heats, but we've got a nose cone, which round here because everyone's really stacked close together, it just dropped us down the field quite a lot. But um, we've made a good comeback, got a lot of points, and uh, at a part at the end of it, you know. So uh, yeah, very happy. Yeah, I'm sure you are. And of course, Shennington. Last year, when I spoke to you here at Shennington, there was a bit of an interesting one on that one, but this time around, a little bit nicer. I'm not sure what you mean. I can't remember that far back, but if the cameraman wants to look, I didn't get a nose cone. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'd just like to thank uh, my mum, my dad, uh, JP for being top boy on the spanners again, Grice for the insane waft, and uh, Dan Holland Racing for top setups. Thank you. Oh, and Sean Carter. Love you, Shane. Ah, oh, excellent. Perfect. Cheers. So, uh, thank you very much. Now, Marcus Littlewood. Uh, now, Henry was saying a fourth place finish would have been a career best for you. You've now just been up to third place and now onto the podium. That must be a nice feeling for you. Yes, yeah, it's, it's amazing. I never expected to make up so many positions from 19th, but <laughs> it just shows anything's possible, really. And yeah, we've just proved it by getting on the podium. So like, it's outrageous. Like, really. like uh, to, uh, Harry was saying, you know, the slipstream's mega on this circuit. Was that a big help for you? You know, the wind is kind of facing, it's kind of, it's kind of a tailwind down the uh, back straight, really, isn't it? Um, but would you say that was been a benefit for you to help get through that grid? Yeah, 100%. Like, the toe round here is probably three to four attempts. So, yeah, especially, like, drafting off people. And to be fair, like, everyone was racing very cleanly and fairly and just helped me to get up there, really. No, it was a brilliant result for you. Brilliant race. Congratulations. Well done. Enjoy the podiums later on. Thank you very much. Excellent stuff. Well, our top three there, absolutely fantastic. Disaster for Aaron Walker, of course. He had a great race in that one, but unfortunately, with that nose cone penalty, gets that five-second time penalty, misses out on being on the top three podium. More finals coming up. I am a cadet. It's coming up next. Okay, now we're on to Senior X30. And uh, some tyres to surprise for this one. So the Senior X30 final finishing in third place. It's his first trip onto the podium in the British Championship for the Jade Racing team. In third, it's Marcus Littlewood. <laughs> now the seniors have got a bit of a problem. They've got two hats. They've got Ayami and Vera. Uh, Vera. Uh, Vera, 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 yep, Vera. Head's too big. Head's too big. Well, have said, but there we go. So Marcus Littlewood finishing in third. He sorts out his uh, his cranial issues. There we go. There's better, Marcus. Well done. Well done. Finishing in second place. Finished third the championship last year. What a day for Thomas Fleming. With, there's definitely a fringe situation going on in Senior X30. Good fringe, better fringe, but King Fringe <laughs> is about to see. So, after many years of trying and numerous podium finishes, your Senior X30 winner today gets his first trip to the top step of the podium in the British Championship, along with the winning mechanic, Big Cam, Cameron Karvaski. Please welcome Harry Platton. Well done, well done, mate. So he's got a sword out there. Hang on. Uh, OK, Cameron, yeah. every mechanic so fast. Ed, somebody, what have you got to say about your man? Not a lot. There we go, excellent. There we go, congratulations, your winning mechanic, Cameron Karvaski. Man, a few words, but uh, demon on the spanners. <laughs> proud moment, proud moment. <laughs> did, did his job, that was it. Congratulations, your senior X30 podium. You do get a set of tyres as well for the winner as well. So thank you to Comet 